So here we're gonna look at some of the nerves and muscles of the periorbita and the orbit. So if we're looking into the lateral most aspect of the orbit, usually right after you incise the periorbita, the first structure you're going to see is going to be this lateral most nerve, which is the zygomatic nerve. The zygomatic nerve lies right over top of this lateral most muscle, which is going to be the lateral rectus muscle. At the base of the lateral rectus muscle, in this cadaver, the lateral rectus has been transected, which allows us to see this very nice nerve that is traveling into the base of the lateral rectus muscle. This nerve is going to be supplying motor innervation to the lateral rectus, as well as these small little fascicles of muscle here, known as the retractor bulbi muscles. That nerve is the abducens nerve, or cranial nerve six. If we work in a clockwise fashion around the eye, we've already seen the zygomatic nerve and the lateral rectus. The next muscle that we will encounter, unfortunately has been cut here, but is a very thin muscle that is actually overlying this bigger muscle. The very superficial thin muscle that we see here is going to be the levator palpebrae superioris, which lies directly over top this larger piece of muscle, which is going to be the dorsal rectus muscle. Right in this area, there should be another quite small nerve running kind of over top of the levator palpebrae superioris towards the upper eyelid. This nerve is going to be the frontal nerve. As we continue to work in a clockwise fashion, the next muscle that we will encounter is this muscle right here that has this very long tendon on it. This muscle is the dorsal oblique muscle. Its tendon wraps around a cartilaginous structure right in this area called the trochlea. The dorsal oblique muscle is innervated by the trochlear nerve. And if we look just underneath the dorsal oblique muscle, we will find another small nerve right here traveling underneath or deep to the dorsal oblique, that is going to be the infratrochlear nerve. Here we see another example of some of these same muscles. The first one we can see again is that very small, thin strap of muscle that's quite superficial. That's going to be that levator palpebrae superioris overlying the dorsal rectus muscle. As we work around the eye here in this one, we can see the presence of the dorsal oblique here. And down at the base of the dorsal oblique, we're going to see a nerve that's entering through a small foramen in the skull. This nerve is the ethmoidal nerve running through the ethmoid foramen of the skull. Just ventral, actually we're gonna go back to this one. Just ventral to this dorsal oblique muscle is another large fascicle of muscle attaching onto the medial aspect of the globe. That's going to be the medial rectus muscle. Now we're looking at the ventral aspect of the globe. We see this muscle that's coming in at a 90 degree angle and attaching onto the ventral aspect of the globe. That's going to be the ventral oblique muscle. Finally, we see this muscle that's just deep to that, again, attaching to the ventral aspect of the globe. That's going to be the ventral rectus muscle. Here we can see a small nerve that would be connecting and going into this ventral oblique muscle. That nerve is going to be supplying the ventral oblique as well as the ventral rectus. So this muscle is, or this nerve is a branch of the oculomotor nerve. 